Flame on, toy fans! I'm D21Beast, and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're continuing our look at that line of Fantastic Four figures from 2005. Since we don't have any figures coming out this year for the 2015 Fantastic Four movie, I'm taking a look at the original figures that were released for the first theatrical release of a Fantastic Four film. Before you, we've got the Flying Human Torch figure. Now, in the 2005 Fantastic Four film, the Human Torch, Johnny Storm, was actually played by actor Chris Evans, who had a pretty respectable start to his film career at this point, but hadn't yet hit it huge before this movie, and of course he would later on be much better known as Captain America. And while the Chris Evans you see on film today is certainly more ripped than he used to be, he doesn't get to be as funny as he used to be on screen, and that's one thing I really like about this version of the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four films. Now as you can see, I no longer have the box for this figure, I lost it many years ago when I first bought this guy, so let's go ahead and get things started by taking a look at the sculpting and paintwork on this figure. Now as I bring this Human Torch in close, what you're going to notice is that the entire figure is made of this sort of transparent, translucent red plastic. Actually, it's more of an orange plastic with a red wash on it. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. You have these uh, sculpted flame pieces that are attached all over the figure, made out of sort of a more rubberized, plasticky material. And then you have a harder plastic, actually, for the torso, the arms, and the legs. And I really like the way that this figure looks. You can see through the uh, appendages everywhere you look here. They just have the paint wash, as I mentioned before, and there's some really nice sculpting detail. Even though you can see through the figure and he's not really painted that much, you can see that the costume has been fully sculpted along this figure, both on the legs, the boots, the hands. We do have the Fantastic Four emblem here on the chest, and while it's kind of hard to make out, I do think the likeness for Chris Evans is there in the face. So this is a really cool looking figure. I get the impression that Toy Biz was experimenting a little bit when they made this figure, but the end result I think is really, really nice, and I'm glad that they put the effort in. Let's just take a quick closer look here at the flame detail on the back of this figure. Look at all that sculpting on this flame piece that's been glued on the back and on the shoulders, even on the head. You've got sort of a fade from a darker red to a lighter yellow, and there's just so much work put into that. It looks really, really nice and definitely gives the illusion of fire. For those of you who watched my Secret Avengers Stealth Suit Captain America review, you may remember in that review I kind of praised the Toy Biz versions of these Chris Evans figures for having a better likeness than what Hasbro had given us, and I still believe that. But in case you missed that review, let me go ahead and pan across the faces of each one of these figures, and you'll see interestingly that the likeness to Chris Evans tends to go down as the newer figures come out. But I definitely think Flying Human Torch has a decent likeness to actor Chris Evans. Flying Human Torch came with all the accessories that you see here, plus one you don't. Originally, Human Torch came with this sort of gun contraption that you would hold in your hand, snap the Human Torch figure to, and then plug these missiles in on either side. And then you can actually pull a trigger to fire the missiles, and then fly around with the figure in your hand, making him the Flying Human Torch figure. Unfortunately, I've lost that sort of gun pistol grip device to the ravages of time, but I do still have the missiles here. And as you can see, the missiles are very much like the figure in the sense that they have these sort of uh, rubbery plastic flame tips that start red at the bottom and go up to a yellow tip, and they look really, really nice. The accessories are kind of useless to me now, but if you can find the figure new in box, you might enjoy having the ability to kind of play and fly your figure around. Moving on to articulation, we can see that the Human Torch does have a head that'll look down that far, and not really up so far, the flames kind of block it, but his head will look left and right. He's got a forward rotation here at the shoulder, as well as a joint that'll allow his arm to move out from the body only about that far, again the flames are blocking it. He does have upper bicep swivel that spins all the way around, he's got a double jointed elbow, he does have full rotation here at the glove, and then he has a hand that'll bend back that far and down that far, and he has finger articulation so his hand can actually close that far and open very far. Then he has the same articulation here on the other side with the same impediments. He has an ab crunch that'll actually bend forward that far with a ratchet and bend back only about that far, just a standing position. He does have a full waist swivel here at the waist. And then he has a hip joint that allows his leg to move forward that far and back only so far. Out from the body very far. He's got a double jointed knee. And then he has upper boot rotation. He's got an ankle that'll bend down that far, up that far. He does have toe articulation, but there is no ankle pivot on this figure. Really though, a great range of motion for a movie tie-in toy. I wish the neck joint was a little more freed up, but overall, a really great range of articulation. Height-wise, we can see that Flying Human Torch does stand right about six and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here we have Flying Human Torch compared to the Snowboarding Human Torch figure from this same toy line. Admittedly, Snowboarding Human Torch is a bit out of scale. And once again, here we have Flying Human Torch compared to the Avengers Captain America movie figure and the Captain America Winter Soldier Stealth Suit Captain America. And of course, all three of these figures were inspired by actor Chris Evans' portrayal of each of these characters. Here we have Flying Human Torch compared to the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four box set Human Torch figure. And just for fun, here we have Flying Human Torch compared to the 90s Happy Meal Human Torch figure, based off the 90s animated Fantastic Four series. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. How are you feeling, Bob? 
Would you believe me if I said hot, hot, hot? <sighs> yeah. Alright, Toy fans, well that's my review of the Fantastic Four Flying Human Torch figure released by Toy Biz in 2005. Overall, I think this figure is actually pretty nice. I'm a big fan of the way that Toy Biz chose to do this sort of translucent reddish-orange plastic and then put the wash over it like they did. I think that the flame accessories that have been sculpted and added onto the figure actually really enhance the look of the figure. The only complaints I have about this figure's overall look is that the pins inside the joints tend to be made out of a darker colored plastic and at times and at certain angles can distract from the overall look of the figure. But at the end of the day, the vote is up to you guys. If you like the movie Fantastic Four, you're probably going to want to pick up this figure and add him to your collection. He is a really nice piece. But if you didn't like the movie, you're probably going to want to give this figure a pass. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.